So this video is a year late. Context, I filmed everything in 2022 when I first moved from Hong Kong to UK. And then I never touched any of these videos again because I was getting used to the UK and I couldn't be bothered to edit. Hopefully this will be good for people who are going to university in 2023. However, the video is a year late, so. I'm gonna go to the airport in two hours or so. Immigration was pretty smooth, but the luggage. Oh lord, it is taking an hour. It's so cold. It's so cold. I like this coldness though. Like, it's so autumn, Hong Kong autumn. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, got to my hotel. We're going to the Strand campus to pick up my ID um, and then we're going on to Reading for like a quick trip to visit some friends. I did not complete my right to study check-in time so now I can't get my ID card. So then I walked around Strand and went to Covent Garden. It's so strange because these places are so familiar and normal to me now, but back then, it was so new and so exciting. Then at the roundabout, take the first step. Where? Wait, guys, shush. I'm at Brunel University to visit Marjorie. How you so old? I'm trying to walk to my dorm now. By myself, my parents have left me, so I'm just here. It looks pretty good. I fall. I saw a squirrel. I never see squirrels. They mixed up my rooms, so now I have two, like a double room, all to myself. Like bed here, bed there. But is it rude for me to say that I don't really like it? Because it's. It's it's too spacious. Like if it was really empty and weird. Oh my god, it's so strange. Okay, but I guess I need to pee. Like oh my god, it's so weird. My door. It's so cool. Like the area. Oh wait, there's people. It's so awkward. Oh no. Well, and they have some memories and stuff on top. A few books. I couldn't bring so many. This is my bed. It's a double bed, but my mat, my my bed sheet is single. So yeah, facing right next to the street. So that's really fun. I just went to talk with people and hung out with them, and now I'm gonna sleep. It's 1:30. It's the latest I've slept in UK because UK makes me really tired because of how cold it is. But I'm gonna brush my teeth and sleep. <laughs> I'm finally not going out right now and it means time to decorate and clean up my dorm.
to the university of Maine. She went and had a lot of good fun. Okay, go. So, this is the fridge. Yeah. It's really hard to tell. Yeah. These knobs are kind of it away. Um, we used to have like beautiful illustrations on here, like Picasso type shit. <laughs> but they got rubbed off one day. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna replace them. And uh, we've got some really nice like kitchen shit here. Like if you want to cook, uh, if you want to cook like toast in here. Oh, definitely do. <laughs> um, do you know one other ingredient that we use a lot? Stop. Is this? <laughs> I put this in everything. You look cute though. I literally look disgusting. I like... tidied my room and figured everything out. So this is the full. Room reveal. And then I have my makeup, my knickknacks, my lots of jewelry that I just stuffed in the corner there. It's really messy in there. Uh, my more summer and thin clothing here. More winter jackets on that side. Yes, this is my room. To be honest, I do prefer a smaller room because a bigger room just means that I have to tidy it more and at this point I stopped vlogging and I really tried to enjoy more of first year because I know that if I had to film everything for an audience I would not experience the things the same I did film myself uh, in exam period so maybe I'll post that soon but in general first year was a roller coaster I've never been so happy and sad in, <laughs> in my entire life like a lot of experiences that I never knew I would have I had emotional turmoil I never thought I could reach I went there but also I've never been so happy and like experienced such new things like I was genuinely so excited to move there and experience a whole new country and whole new culture anyways looking back on these memories is so bittersweet and nostalgic I've never had so much fun in my entire life as going into year one I never had that much independence as a kid because I was really scared of like just doing things by myself but like uni definitely helped me I learned to cook I learned to cope with everything myself um, it was definitely awful at some points because I was just by myself and alone sometimes dealing with life and being an adult in a new country but I've also never had so much fun and it felt so good to have to to be able to restart my life in a new country and I really miss London right now but at the same time I'm excited for year two but because yeah. I had six subjects in IB and I only have one subject to do Obviously, it is more difficult to have to challenge yourself in an environment where people are of higher level of thinking and learning. However, it was fun and I really miss going to uni actually. But emotionally, I felt better in IB because all I could do was work and escape work. But in uni, I felt like I really had to deal with every single problem that I have ever had in life and I could not ignore them. Or if I did, it had really bad consequences, but I would do anything to relive year one again. I'm so sad I'm getting older. It was so fun and I really took everything for granted at that time, but it was a good experience. So yes.